Chapter Twenty: New Opportunity. It's been over four and a half months since the big Martian storm got us all stuck indoors. The days got longer and longer, and colder and colder. I missed being outdoors so much that I wanted to grab the first thing that would drop on my lap. Anything. Beelzebub was on a mission to find Chesterton's bar when DJ said it was suicidal to go alone. So, I accompanied him. We had a long walk in the dust, and I did something. Something foolish. I stepped over Chesterton's fence without thinking. I almost lost my way trying to follow someone else's footsteps. It seemed like I was away with the fairies for quite some time. Luckily, I got some help before it was too late. Chesterton's bar looked closed, but Beelzebub was able to open the door. Oh boy. This was mission accomplished for Beelzebub. This was all he ever wanted. Satisfied, he didn't want to leave, even after the dust had already settled outside. I had to keep moving, so I headed back out. The hike back was a lot easier now. Everything looked a lot brighter. It felt great to see the horizon much more clearly. I should be back at the main hub soon. But along the way, I bumped into a Martian. His name was Bob. He asked me if I would like to see Opportunity. It sounded like he knew exactly what I needed, so I followed him to a gully at Perseverance Valley, and there. We found opportunity. It was turned off, and there was a note on it that appeared to have been written during the dust storm. It said, "My battery is very low, and it's getting dark." I asked Bob if he knew how to fix it. He said yes, but he will need access to a garage with some tools. Oh boy, what a coincidence! I told Bob, "I think I know a place where Opportunity can find new batteries." That evening, we reached the main hub. I introduced Bob to DJ, and they took Opportunity to the garage. I had been out of touch for a whole month accompanying Beelzebub in his mission. I missed seeing everyone in the hub, but. I think I would have to wait for tomorrow. They should be fast asleep by now, I thought. But on my way to our sleeping quarters, I found everyone still up, wide awake, and gathered around a nest. Bear and Al introduced me to a new brave spirit.